I'm James Spann. This is the Weather Extreme video. This is for Friday, the 22nd of January. Well, we are through with the midweek system. Now we can focus on the weekend system. But today we're in between, so weather looks pretty good. Let's peek out the window. How about a little fog down there at Gulf Shores? Thick sea fog from the sky cam on the Phoenix All Suites looking right over the uh, public beach and the pink pony. Up this way, weather not too bad in Birmingham. That's the uh, sky cam on top of the Daniel Building. It's clear. Temperatures are mostly in the uh, 40s. And up in Huntsville, that's Memorial Parkway. Things are calm after that yesterday. Let me tell you what, a lot of photos and videos of that tornado in Huntsville that came through as the sun was going down. Uh, the sun was giving some nice backlight to that, uh, that thunderstorm. And again, uh, you can check the blog and see a lot of video and images, but a pretty scary moment. Six injuries, none of them life-threatening, and uh, some pretty uh, significant damage uh, east and northeast of the city of Huntsville. What a day that was. Uh, we also had a tornado warning for uh, East Alabama's Clay, Randolph, and Cleburne counties for a while last night as well. But that system is gone. And you can see the next one already rolling out of the west that will affect us over the weekend. Boy, what a mess out west. Look at all the uh, warnings out there. Arizona, Utah, Nevada, California just buried by flash flood winter storm warnings. Uh, in the mountains, they're measuring the snow in terms of feet. And uh, by golly... For the whole week, uh, they could be measuring the rain for the low elevations in terms of feet. Uh, states of emergency have been declared over Arizona and parts of California. But let's talk about the convective outlooks. This is uh, tomorrow, day two. There is a slight risk over parts of Mississippi and the adjacent sections of Arkansas, really between Jackson and Memphis. And low end probabilities surrounding that into West Alabama for late tomorrow night. And then on day three, which is Sunday, a slight risk east of Alabama. Well, it cuts down there through Dothan, but basically runs from uh, Tallahassee up to about uh, Charlotte. And hopefully we will not be bothered by severe weather over the weekend. We'll take a look in just a moment. The QPF chart, precipitation for the next five days. And uh, that's kind of suggesting rain amounts of about one inch with our weekend system. We'll still say one to two inches uh, late Saturday night into Sunday morning. Here's the modeling. This is the GFS at noon today. The 06Z run at 500 millibars. There's the big trough out west. Down below that, we are in between. Uh, we'll say partly sunny today with a high close to 60. Tomorrow, the trough gets closer. Down below that, uh, winds ought to pick up out of the south, but the day will be dry. Highs in the uh, low and mid-60s. Clouds should probably slowly increase. We'll say a mix of sun and clouds. And let's walk you through it. This is Saturday night at midnight. The surface low is at St. Louis, 992 millibars with a trailing band of storms. Sunday morning at 6 o'clock, the surface low near Chicago with a batch of rain and storms coming through here. And much like yesterday, it looks like it will be a, a late night, early morning rain event. Thunder and lightning, yes, but severe weather during that time frame, probably not because of no surface-based instability. And then at uh, noon on Sunday, the uh, bulk of the rain is off to the east, the heavier rain falling in places like Atlanta and Asheville, North Carolina. And uh, that should be it. Although uh, we note uh, the surface-based instabilities show up again Sunday evening, which makes us wonder, could we have a repeat of yesterday where one more little uh, possibility will exist of scattered storms Sunday afternoon with potential for maybe a strong storm or two? Uh, that instability is pretty weak. I don't think for now we're going to mention that. We'll just monitor that idea. And then Monday of next week, cold looking trough there. The 540 line drives down to Montgomery, so uh, highs upper 40s with a chilly north wind. Maybe some uh, lingering clouds much of the day. And Tuesday looks still pretty cool. Uh, that would suggest a high close to 50. And uh, Tuesday morning lows in the upper 20s. And Wednesday, we should moderate with a high up in the uh, 50s. Thursday of next week, uh, look at that now. A 1040 high. A little snow maybe for Nashville and Memphis and uh, maybe some rain down here Thursday night, and then Friday that uh, rain shifts on down to the south and the 540 line sitting near Birmingham. So, again, some evidence of rain returning at the end of next week. This is not suggesting a big rain event, 
But uh, the models have been all over the board on this, but the confidence is low. But uh, we'll see. It's This run is the, the, the last couple of runs have certainly looked colder for next week. Uh, and again, for now, we'll just mention a chance of rain uh, either uh, Thursday night or maybe Friday morning of next week, and we'll fine-tune that as we get closer. Now, let's dig deeper. How about the 4th of February? That's a pretty good-looking trough there and a pretty good-looking storm. And we might be flirting with a winter storm situation northwest of Alabama, Memphis and places like that, but that looks like a big wet weather system. And on the 6th, no sign of the cold air. Um... Active Southern Branch, uh, you can see the storm down there over the Gulf of California. Down below that, uh, uh, the cold air not there. And look at the AO now. You see, uh, maybe it was a head fake. You can see that strong spike down around the first of the month, and instead of going down like it has been doing, it trends back up toward neutral. So uh, maybe we can escape the Arctic cold next month. But again, as we all know, this is voodoo we're just looking for ideas out there that's it for the weather extreme video today we'll have notes on the blog the next video by 3 30 or so today and if you're local to us we invite you to watch us on television this evening abc 33 40 at 5 6 and 10 o'clock thanks for watching have a great day and god bless each day there are new stories to tell about the people who live here and the place we call home all of the faces that i see all of the places close to Sharing your stories on ABC 3340, Alabama's news leader.